So pica is an unusual type of eating problem. We don't actually um, officially consider it as an eating disorder diagnosis. It sits um, elsewhere as an official diagnosis. But pica is an unusual eating problem where kids of various ages, and actually adults can have pica as well, um, ingest non-nutritive substances on a repetitive basis. And the different types of non-nutritive substances that may be ingested are quite variable. Somewhat more typical things are things like ice chips, but perhaps also paint chips, other types of substances that um, typically or often have a metallic quality to them. So things like clay or soil may be part of the pica syndrome. And there can even be some more unusual types of ingestions, such as even um, feces, um, cigarette butts, and other types of non-nutritive substances. Clearly, pica, if it's something that's emerging, um, is something to be quite concerned about because it's not healthful to eat these things. It can actually be dangerous um, and medical status should clearly be monitored quite closely if this is going on. We don't really know um, exactly why pica comes out in some people. Um, there does seem to be in some folks with pica um, low uh, measures in the blood of certain mineral levels, so there have been some ideas that maybe pica comes out of a mineral deficiency, although we don't really know that that's cause and effect. We just know that mineral levels can be low um, in, in some of these patients, and you know maybe that's actually an after effect of the fact that they're eating non-nutritive substances. Um, but there can be other risk factors that contribute to pica. Features like maternal deprivation may be a factor. Features like developmental uh, delay may be another factor. Pica um, can be addressable, although uh, there's no one sort of treatment that is known to sort of really work, you know, as a cure. Um, but treatments um, tend to look at behavioral modification um, strategies, as well as education about what's nutritive and not nutritive. And some medications may be helpful. Consultation with a physician may sort of weigh into that as well. Um, and sometimes pica spontaneously remits as well. Again, like with other types of eating problems, um, if a syndrome like what I've just described as pica sounds like it's present, the best thing is just to get it checked out by a physician, someone that's knowledgeable about this type of problem, um, and you know strategies can be put into place to try to uh, remediate the behavior and get to a healthier place. Mm -hmm.